What's going on everybody? Johnny here again on Experience video. In this video, we're gonna covering the motor hesitations upon accelerations from 0 RPM. We're gonna go ahead to figure out exactly how we eliminate this sort of hesitation issue in our system or at the very least how we can improve it if we don't want to make any significant change to the system. Let's go ahead and understand why we are experiencing this model has stations. Let's go! Well, this model has stations really comes into play when we are talking about the senseless brushless model. The senseless brushless model is exactly as it sounds. It's a model that does not have a sensor within it. This is important because uh, the ESC needs to know the positions of that model shaft in order to provide it with power. If it doesn't know where that model shaft is in relative positions from 0 to 360 degree, it's going to be very difficult for the ESC to get in sync with the model. Without having a sensor, the ESC has to figure out the positions of the model shaft. The way that is accomplished by sending the power first to the model, and the model then reacts, it moves several degrees and then send the motors back to the, the ESC. That's what is read and that is understands at more accurate level as the positions of the model shaft. It may not be 100% locked yet, but it can do that the next time. It sends powers to it constantly repeats this process until it sync completely. With the model now, you can imagine as what is doing this and trying to figure it out. It's gonna be, you know, the jittery or gonna have the hesitation that what we see. That exactly what happening in these systems that the model is trying to figure out the relative positions in order to get in sync with the ESC, then carry on the full operations. Now when we talk about this issue, we are really only considering a very small range of speeds. So carry forward to the questions, how do we fully eliminate this hesitation issue? Well, we can eliminate this hesitation issue by moving to a sensor model. And I have here with me a complete sensor model system. We have the models and it has three tables coming out of it. Like what you typically see with label A, B and C. And then so you also have this data cable. This data cable so goes to the ESC and provides it a sensor-based information of where the shaft precision is on the model. Then the ESC knows exactly where the model shaft precision is. This is resulting the hesitation is completely eliminated with this type of system. However, you don't need a sensor model in every single application of the radio control vehicle. In fact, what we are talking about today is more suitable for those heavy duty radio control coral or Bigfoot like one of these uh, brontosaurus. If you don't wish to make any significant change to your system, we suggest you to use a 6 pose sensorless model instead of 4 pole sensorless model. This will at least minimize the hesitation of the model. I hope you find this video useful. Please hit the like button if you like this video and hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!